Welcome back, everybody, to MGS5 GZ Ground Zeroes. We are here uh, trying to get Paz out of here. We put a bunch of people to sleep last episode, and now we got to try to clear a path to a landing zone to get the heck on a chopper and get the heck out of here. Thanks for all your support. Keep hitting that like button if you're enjoying this series and want to see more. Those spotlights mean nothing because uh, I took out the guards at the top of the tower. We're going to leave that guy, grab her. Hopefully she doesn't make too much noise and we're going to try to sneak our way out of here. Go ahead and call the chopper. Keep an eye out Front. for nearby enemies. They can try to shoot down the chopper. There, oh, there's a landing zone here? Well, I want to get closer to it. I don't feel comfy yet. I also don't like this guy. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna creep up actually and grab him. Chill here for a sec. Pause. Can I get up to this tower? Oh, and there's dudes there. Two guys. Maybe I can't get up here then. Okay. So, whoa. So where is this LZ? Um, we are here. It's right there? Doesn't seem like the safest place. I'd rather go way offshore, but... There's nobody really around. All those guys are asleep, aren't they? I think. Okay, maybe we will head that way then. See if we can bring in the chopper. It's a little bit, a little bit dangerous, but... You never, uh... You never get anything that you don't take a risk for, so let's take a risk, see what we can do. We'll stay out of harm's way, though, for now. Try to really work our way around. I don't know if this thing can see me or what. I don't think so. Is that the landing zone? It can't be. Alright, hug the exterior wall here. Okay, we've got a camera there that I'm a little bit worried about. So we'll hug the... Okay, this is not going to work. Um, what if I call the chopper in? What's going to happen? I kind of want to just try to see what happens. Let's call the helicopter. Land there. I mean... Let's try this one. Let's just see. Let's just see what, how it goes. Like this tank gets crazy. Okay. What? So, no, no, no go. All right, no go. Okay, that tank is looking pretty nasty. Is the chopper coming or no? I don't think so. All right, so I got to get to a, uh, a faraway land, I guess. Whoa, those guys all woke up? Big jerks. What the heck? All right. <laughs> Trying to weed my way around here. There's a dude up top on that building now. Look at this guy. Okay. Anything else? Okay, that guy is making me so nervous, but I'm not too concerned about him. Just stay low. Is the chopper coming in? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> this is Morpho, arriving Hi, Morpho. Oh god. How close am I to it? CP, this is Zulu 2. Still no hostiles around here. We're standing down. Over. Okay, good. Oh my god. No! Don't shoot it down! Oh my god, they're gonna bring it down. Lower down the chopper, Morpho. This is Morpho. I'm taking fire. So damage the chopper. Okay, well. Go to sleep. She's taking heavy damage. Uh, good. Probably not the best idea to bring it in here. This tank thing is ridiculous. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, come on. Oh no! Okay. 
that doesn't work. That that does not work. We don't we don't want to do that. So that's not going to be an option. We're going to take pause all the way to uh, the other side then. Let's go carefully. They know where I'm at, but who cares? All right, so there's these two dudes here. Good deal. They're now in alert mode, because why not? There's an evil snake around and a laughing, terrifying Ronald McDonald chick. So, while they go run over there, I'm gonna sneak behind these combustible tanks. I actually wish I could get on this gun and use that to my uh, epic advantage, but probably not a good idea. I don't think I can get through here. Okay, we gotta find a break in the... I can't... Uh, see, I can't crawl in there with her. Makes it pretty useless. Those guys are all... I don't know where they're patrolling, but we're about to go find out. Your stomach? What'd they do to your stomach? Hopefully they didn't put, like, a bomb in it. Okay. Let's be stealthy. Heading for that uh, LZ that we used previously. This is where we want to get. All right, so they're, I'm guessing they're going to go back to their normal place, which is fine by me if they leave. Hopefully they don't see me here in the grassy area. Nope, look at that guy run. He's got freaking fleet feet, wet feet. Bye. Bye. Stop. Have a nice day. Stop laughing, Paz. They're going to hear you. All right, get out of here, gnomes. They kind of look like gnomes with their hoods and stuff. Anyways, okay. So let's wait till they're clear out of view. And then we're gonna bring the Great Laugher uh, this way. Please tell me this isn't a dead end. No, good, okay, sweet. All right. Gotta check this droid thing. Alright, I wanna hug this right wall as uh, much as humanly possible. Zoom out. Stop. Uh, Any dudes over here? Okay. Pain. Nobody too close by. Okay, yes, there is. Pain is in the mind. Okay, how many times do I have to shoot this guy? He, oh my god, he's like the friggin' slowest sleeper ever. I was gonna say that took forever. Yeah, big buffoon. Okay, rats. Don't ruin my cover here, rats. Shh. I'm trying to be a sneaky guy. Okay. I'm making good progress. Now we've got a guy up here in the tower. I don't remember him, so... The guard wall is there. Okay, so we have to go more to the left, I guess? It's more directly... What, this? Wait, face that way, Snake. Is it more directly this way, then? Yeah, okay, so it's more through there. All right. Through this camp, then. Hope there's no one in here. Stop. Dude on the spotlight. Does it come this way? I'm guessing it doesn't. Eh. He seems to just be pointing it in that direction and then turning it to the other way. Okay. No, maybe not. Stop hitting the trash can. Stay away. I don't know. I feel like I'm safe. It's hard to tell if he's moving it or not. I'm just gonna move. Okay, so it's over that ridge. That way. So 
if I get close enough to him, I can probably go underneath it. Get out of here, milk jug. Huh. See, this is where it's gonna get hard. How do I pass through that? Maybe I can pass underneath it? Can I just make him sleep? There we go. Good. Okay. No more worries. No more strife. Paws and snake. Get into the LZ. Um. No, stop saying that. It's not good for you. Whew. Okay, we're through here. Now we just gotta find a way. We're so close. It's on the other side of this fence. Is there an opening anywhere? Maybe this way? It looks like there's a door here. I can't tell if it's boarded up or not, though. Think we can push this open? Oh, edge of the mission. Okay. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't know that was even possible, to be honest. Okay, I gotta find a gate here. No parking. Is there really no way out of here? Hit me all you want. There's nobody up there. It's empty. Oh my god, I'm right by it. There's gotta be a gate or something. <gasps> Car. Oh my god. Stay away. He's coming down here. Shoot! Go, 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 go! Let's just hide right here in the bushes. Hide by the side of the road. I hope to god he leaves. I really do. Go past. Alright, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> we are out of here. Da 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 dum dum da dum dum. Yes, open the gate. Let's get out of here. Go for it. Okay. So, it's right over this ridge, isn't it? I think we're gonna be safe and I think we're gonna escape alive. Yeah, baby. Good work, team. Paws Snake or Snapaws. Snap Peas. Team Snap Peas. That's what I'll call these two. I don't think there's anyone to be hiding in the mountains. Oh my. Wait, wait, where are... Okay. The landing zone. Is it right here? <gasps> Nifty business. Okay, it's probably gonna alert a bunch of people. I don't really care. I'm gonna try to call it in. We'll see what we can do. Danger's low, bring it in. Bring in that chopper, we're gonna win this mission. <sighs> I like this, they're in here. At the whole camp from high above. Uh, Alright, pause. We got her uh, draped over our shoulders. She's still freaking out. Whew, I think we made it out alive, guys and girls. Big victory for Team Snappies. Morpho, you coming in? It takes the chopper a long time to get here. I gotta say. And I'll talk a little bit more, I guess, after the credits. But this this game costs 30 bucks uh, for PS4 and Xbox One. That's a drop. It was supposed to be 40. They dropped the price. I think it's far too much money at either either price point. But we'll talk about that at the end. Where is the chopper? You coming? How long does this guy take? I hear it. <gasps> there it is. Da da da, our savior. Red and blue. Get us out of here. Arriving shortly at LZ. Good. Apparently they can't hear him, which is good. Let's back up. Take care of business. Like a good operative should. Alright. Bring her in, Morpho. And back up a little bit. This is Morpho. On station at LZ. 
Sweet, I'm here too. Bring her down, open that door, let's get back out of here. Ba da ba da 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 Ugh, everyone's bloody. But wet, plasticky snake will fly the heck out of here. Back to who knows where. Get on this aircraft. And let's go home. Bingo. Alright, we'll take a B rank for the mission. It says 84 minutes, but there is definitely some deaths in there, so it was uh, actually less than that. Probably about 50. Uh, straight through 45. Kind of short. <laughs> kind of really short. Is there anything else after this? Or we just end right here? Hello? Well, it's loading something, so maybe we'll get an ending cutscene, I'm, I'm hoping. Take us out with a bang, please. Keep her gun in.
screen. I heard explosions, then... They played us like a damn fiddle! Give it back! This isn't right, that was ours! We built it, damn it! You spy bitch! Come on, start talking, bitch! Come on, get up and start talking! <laughs> Your favorite song. Nicola Bart. Immigrants wrongly executed. But their deaths served as a message to others. That ours is a society that murders the innocent. Do you too believe your sacrifice will change the world? Well, that's that, and, uh, man, I mean, what's actually there is pretty cool. Like, the graphics are really, I think, very nice. Um, the gameplay isn't 100% my style, but I definitely can appreciate it, and I don't know if a little bit of that is because I feel like stealth games and just games in general have evolved a lot, even since Metal Gear Solid 4, and so I don't know if it's losing appeal just on me or on everybody i felt like it's a little bit clunky in some ways um i know that's the design of the game and i know that people who are big fans of the franchise uh, won't have a problem with it that's cool uh, for me it, it it just it feels a little bit antiquated um i like some of the things they've done just with the it seems like it's gonna be much more open and of course this is the prologue to mgs5 so mgs5 will inevitably have much more uh obviously way more to do and whatever um but here's my issue with the game this thing costs 30 bucks on next gen consoles i believe it's 20 on uh 360 and ps3 but either way i feel like that is way too much money i don't care if it's 20 30 or 40 um add up the, the running time of my videos i mean this this was like what like maybe a little over an hour um something like that an hour and 20 minutes total it, I cannot, I mean, imagine if you went to a 90-minute movie and paid 30 bucks for it. That would have to be the best movie you ever saw in your entire life. And so, to me, it's a it's a, it's a little bit shady. Actually, it's a, a quite a bit shady um, to really charge for this. I, I know that Metal Gear Solid V is not coming out for a while, um, and so they probably need something to kind of, you know, keep the, keep the stuff going, which I understand, and they worked hard on it, and it turned out pretty cool. Um, even if it isn't exactly my cup of tea, I can see how this would be really, you know, enjoyable for people who are big fans of the franchise, the story, the, the new visuals, like all that exciting stuff. Um, I did think that the ending was really weird. The fact that they removed a bomb from this girl's stomach and she's still alive and then she blows up like, okay, uh, but that's Metal Gear. So I'm not going to even knock it for that, but 
this price thing is ridiculous, to be honest. I mean, I think it deserves its own video um, because, uh, man, some of it was cutscene. And the amount I played, basically, you, you learn the controls, you walk in, you extract one person, extract a second person. That sounds like a demo to me. Um, many games have 30-minute demos. Uh, many games have replayable demos, and all those demos are free. So why they felt it was okay to charge $30 for this is a bit beyond me. Now, granted, there are things you can go back and redo. Apparently, there is an exclusive uh, like Metal Gear Solid 1 mission here um, and a couple side mission things you can do. So it does expand upon the content. But I have a real problem with them calling this a game because for $30, the main storyline of this game uh, is basically an hour long, uh, less if you make a straight run with no deaths and less if you skip the cutscenes. That just doesn't fly with me very well, um, and so it definitely would affect the score if I were to review this game. Um, I think I would literally give it like a 4 out of 10 um, because... That leaves such a bad taste in my mouth. The game itself, like, okay, if this is a full, pl full, full fledged game, right, with th these systems, these graphics, different environments, a big story, epic scenes, you know, I could see it being an eight or nine out of ten game. It has that potential, and, and hopefully, MGS Five: The Phantom Pain will be that when it releases. But I think it's pretty egregious um, and kind of gross um, that they would try and charge people thirty bucks for this. So I, I give it a big fat no in terms of my recommendation if you want to rent it because you're determined to, to fill in all the gaps of the Metal Gear overarching storyline if you want to get a sneak peek at MGS5 you know probably a year or a year and a half before the, the next one releases they're talking a 2015 sometime release date um, then yeah that'll be fun but I think a rental or a, a, you know a 10 15 dollar pickup at 30 dollars I can't recommend this it's shorter than every movie I've seen in the last 12 months um, and it cost three times the amount. Granted, it's interactive, so that does factor in. Um, but when I play an indie game that lasts for like three hours, usually they're like 10 or $15. So playing a $30 game, granted, it has better visuals. There's more that would involve, you know, more stuff in the engine and in the systems. But just make it a demo. I mean, I don't really feel like there's enough here to put on a disc. I feel pretty sour about spending $30 on it. You're like, oh, that's a half-price game, but I... I don't know. I don't want to beat this into the ground too much. I'm sure MGS5 will be cool. I'm excited to play that when it eventually comes out. Um, I wish they would advance it a little bit more into the modern era. I feel like it's still stuck back in terms of some of its systems. And I'm sure some people love it and some people think I'm crazy for, for hating on this like it. But I'm not really hating on the game. I'm hating on the, the, the structure with which they released this, the way that they built it. Um, I just don't think that's cool. And, and really, it's... Not just because I, whatever, I mean, I went out at midnight and I paid 30 bucks for this game and I feel kind of ripped off. Um, kinda is an understatement. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the series. I definitely, 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 definitely think it's crazy to charge 30 bucks for this. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm curious. I, yeah, Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes is over. We'll wait till the end of the credits and see if there's a scene after. I heard that there was a trailer for uh, Phantom Pain, so I'll, I'll leave that in. Um, if it's there and you guys can check that out, hit that like button if you enjoyed the series. Stay tuned for plenty more awesome and longer games uh, on my channel in the future. We've got Infamous Second Son. Uh, we got a boatload of cool things coming up, guys and girls. Till next time, hope you're in a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this series, and hopefully uh, I saved you um, some money one way or the other because, uh, man, I'm just thinking if I was, like, not doing, not playing this game, you know, uh, just if I went and got it as a fan, as a big fan, if I wasn't going to like put it on YouTube or whatever, I would be bummed as all heck. I'm still bummed. Um, but if I like got home on a Saturday afternoon and, and brought this game, I was like, man, I'm going to dive in. And then 70 minutes later, I'm watching the credits that you're watching now. I would be, I'd be going on eBay anyways. And, uh, listing that thing fast guys and girls. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Drink so much. All until next time, we will see you all. Later. Cypher's been in hiding ever since his grand experiment. No one's seen him in years. All we hear are orders delivered by proxy. Except you. You met with him face to face in order to contact Big Boss. Tell me where he is. Where is Cypher?
Where is Zero? I've never known choice. Where I was born, the language I speak, I've never had the freedom to choose for myself. But you, right now, are free. Do as you will. This will save Big Boss. It may. Will you really kill Zero for me? Not for you. Uh, all right. Zero is... been in a coma for quite some time. Yes, yes, I know. You would like to know how long. I'm afraid it's been... nine years. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. The body I've lost. The comrades I've lost. Stop hurting. <laughs> 